Hi, Dr. Ariane here from The Movement Paradigm. Today I'm going to talk about how you can map your own nervous system. This is such a powerful technique and tool that you can have in your life to really shift your state of your nervous system to help you feel more mindful, grounded, and joyful during the day. Before I dive in, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ariane Missimer, and don't forget to hit that little alert button to stay tuned for new content every single week. Before we discuss how to map your nervous system, let's understand the nervous system a little bit more. Specifically today, we're speaking about the autonomic nervous system. And what we hear frequently is the fight or flight response and the rest and digest response. However, there are different aspects of the nervous system referred to as the polyvagal theory. So when we think about our fight and flight response, we refer to that as our sympathetic nervous system. When we refer to the rest and death digest response, we're referring to that as our parasympathetic system, also known as a ventral vagal state, referring to specifically the vagus nerve in our uh, autonomic nervous system. But we also have, which a lot of people are, uh, don't discuss as, as frequently, is a dorsal vagal state, which is our most primitive pattern, and this is uh, also referred to as our freeze state. So essentially, we have fight, flight, or freeze, and our freeze state is actually an emergency state. This means that we are completely shut down, we can be hopeless, we can feel like there is no way out, and this can, once again, be an emergency state. So when we think about our fight or flight response, also known as our sympathetic nervous system, think of this as if we were going to run from a tiger. So when we have a fight response, we wanna think of anger, rage, frustration, all of those kind of anger type feelings because we're thinking of we're going to fight. If we are, going, if we are having a flight response, a fight or flight, Flight would mean worry, fear, panic, anxiety. Now, if we are in our ventral vagal state, so meaning our rest and digest state, our parasympathetic state, this essentially means that we are grounded, we are mindful, we are joyful, we are curious, we are empathetic and compassionate. So essentially we are in our best state. Now, with all of these different states of the nervous system, we are, as humans, experiencing all of these states. We are going from a joyful, mind mindful, grounded state to all of a sudden we are really frustrated and possibly angry and a little bit worried about something. And then we might you know, completely shut down because we are not feeling good about what might happen. So this is all very normal and it's, it's, like I said, human experience that we are going to shift through these states. However, when we stay in these states, when we stay in this fight or flight state, when we stay in this uh, shutdown state, so our freeze state, that is when we begin to have significant physiological effect, effects and also mental emotional effects. So as I mentioned earlier, this could be an emergency state. This can be a suicidal state if we are in this shutdown mode for too long. Um, but if we are in a fight or flight state, we can have constant activation of our stress pathway, also known as the HPA axis. And we can really impact our stress hormones, or therefore our sex hormones, our thyroid, etc., and uh, have it can significant inflammation effects on the body as well from stress. So all of these states can have a significant effect on our overall health, which is why it's really important to identify the states for each of you. So how can you map your nervous system? The first step is to think of one word that defines each one of these states for you. For example, if you are in your ventral vagal state, this is also called the rest and digest state, you could say that you feel happy. That's what, when, I, when I'm in my best state, that's, what I, that's the word that I associate that state with, that I feel happy. The fight or flight state, 
what is the word that resonates with you? So is it worry or is it stressed or is it overwhelmed? So for me, that state would be uh, stressed, that I feel stressed. That could mean I feel it in my body, that could mean I feel mentally stressed, whatever that means to you. And then the, the freeze state, what is that? So for my word, I would use overwhelmed. You could use shut down, you could use numb, you could use um, anything, anything that kind of resonates with you, hopeless. Um, so the first step is identifying the name that you correlate with each of those three states. Once you've done that, which is really important, because then you're able to recognize which state you are in. It's, you're able to say, wow, I'm gonna tune into my body and I'm saying that I'm in a, let's say, a free state. Okay, the next part is, what do you do about that? So this is where we refer to as triggers and glimmers. So if you're thinking of triggers, you wanna think about what are the triggers and write these down of what are the things that, that put you in that stressed state, that put you in that fight or flight state, that put you in that uh, happy, excuse me, um, in that freeze state. So what are the things that put you there? So for example, a fight with my boss, um, an argument with my spouse, uh, a death of a loved one, a, um, someone cuts me off during when I'm driving. So whatever those things are, you wanna write what are those triggers for each of those two states. And then the most important one, I think, is the glimmers, where you write your glimmers down of, of what brings you to that optimal nervous system state. I always like to think of kind of some different examples, something that's really simple, like petting a dog, and then maybe going on a vacation. So things that you could do very easily, and it doesn't require a lot, but then also some things that might require a little bit, you know, like I said, going on a vacation. Once you can identify what those states are for you, and then you know what your triggers and glimmers are, you can really begin to make a profound difference in your nervous system state. You can take ownership of what's happening in your body, you can tune in to what's happening, and know how to regulate your emotions and your responses to stress. And ultimately, this is how we can begin to develop resilience. So being able to have challenges and go to that fight or flight state for just you know a little while and then come back. That should happen maybe a few times a year, not 500 times a day. <laughs> so we, we don't wanna live in those states. We wanna just kind of say hi to them and then come back to our grounded grounded, mindful, joyful state. Okay, uh, I hope this helps, good luck and enjoy. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't yet, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ariane Missmer. Don't forget to hit that a little alert button so you stay tuned for new content. And if you've liked this, please feel free to share it with a friend or family member and uh, have a great day.